make it nice. There, Christmas trees. Oh my God, is it winter here? Yes, Brooke, it certainly is winter and it's minus 15 degrees. A far cry from the scorching Australian summer that our teens have just left behind. This is the first time I've been out of Australia, like the first time I've ever been out of Perth practically. What kind of animals do they have here? Do they have like squirrels and stuff? As soon as I get there, I'm having a cigarette and I'm going straight to the kitchen. Brooke and Mark are both heavy smokers, but in this pristine wonderland, they're about to find out that tobacco is taboo. Staring him. <laughs> ah. Hello. You say, hi there, Mark. Oh, you say hi. Hey. <laughs> well. Hi there. Mark. Yep. Is that correct? Yes. I mean, I look you in your eyes. Good. We do that. So <laughs> we know, you know each other. I'm Brooke. Um, yeah. I'm Annika. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Sweden. <laughs> Thank you. And this is Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't uh, just don't not to offend you, but we don't smoke here. This is the last cigarette you will have when you're here with us. Yeah, because Their feet have barely hit the ground and the law is already being laid out for the teens. But for Brooke, the news is not all bad. Do you know that we have, um, that we have five sons? What? Yeah. We have five sons. What? Five sons. Mm. No daughters? No daughters. Are you kidding no. me? Yeah, no. Are you fucking so, Okay, are you excited? I'm excited to meet your sons. Yes? Um, okay. I hope you enjoyed your last cigarette. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we are going to introduce you now to the boys. <laughs> Alexander, Hi. soon 23, okay. and then we have Kai, he is 16. And then we have Nicholas, uh, 20 yeah. in May. Yeah. Okay, I would like to introduce some house rules. It's no smoking. It's non-negotiable, anywhere and any time. The same goes for the drinking. It's not drinking. And then we talk about alcoholic beverages or whatever. One thing is that you always tell the truth. Mm. Yeah, even if you've done something stupid, you have to tell the truth. And you must treat everyone with respect, regardless of your feelings or the situation. The rules are then with them except for one. And Which that's one? the smoking rule. Mm. I, I should guess that. <laughs> mm, same thing with you, eh? I really want to be sure that the, the house rules are, are followed. I hope you respect that. Mm -hmm. Too easy. Hmm? Too easy. Too easy? Too it's easy. just Australian slang, don't worry. Yeah? Good. Good. That's good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Too easy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> new slang. I think she's smart and I'm not really sure she means what she says. And she didn't oppose to any of the rules. She just said, it's too easy. I mean, I don't think it will always be too easy. I would want to be a center of attention in this family this week. So I'll do my bed, I'll do everything good, just so I can get my way. And then since I've got my way, I'm back to myself. It works better that way. They think, oh, we're getting through to her. They don't know nothing. Mark, he has a facade of being hard and tough, but it's a thin layer. I'm not scared of Peter at all. He's just one of those little hairs you get on the side of your ear and you pull them off. Maybe he's a bit shy or something. He, he didn't say it all that much. But smoking? No. <laughs> I'll be smoking. If he thinks I've hidden him in the suitcase, then he's a dickhead, because he's got another thing coming. I don't want to hide. I'll never find him. This family believes in keeping teens occupied and on the move. And Peter's opening tactic in this battle is to strike first. And now... Is that vodka? Please pay attention. No, no. What's about to come in? Please pay attention to me now. We're going to be part of a small little venture here. Huh. And this is... Uh, what a... happened to a small stroll? <laughs> well, it's the small stroll is a small little venture. OK, we now. <laughs> Our teens may think they're tough, but Peter is about to put that to the test. And what better way than a sub-zero survival test? 
Peter has called on one of his ex-military buddies to give our teens a crash course. I've decided to bring the teens on a mission like this because if you come in a situation that is very cold, then you know a little bit about how to survive. The easiest way to get warm quick is run. So follow me. <laughs> I'm so unfit. <laughs> How's it going? It's just not my thing, you know? Well, what's your thing? I'm drinking. <sighs> when I get back, I don't give a fuck what it says. I'm having a smoke. Agreed. Completing the survival course is only the first skirmish in this encounter. Peter's next weapon is the bag search. Yeah, it's, it's really empty. Did you bring alcohol to this house? No, I didn't bring is, any alcohol to this is, house. Is that so? Yeah. I think we'll throw this away. It's nothing in it. I can't it's smoke it anyway. But Brooke is determined to outmaneuver Peter and sneak a smoke. Tell me that the cigarette will not go straight up. I've got to stay here for the first couple of nights and work out their routine, what time they go to sleep, where they sleep, or if they have deep sleepers, you know what I mean? You've got to establish that before you can go just commit the crime. It may be lights out for Mark and Brooke, but Peter's suspicions are aroused. I don't know. I don't trust them now. His bed tonight is crammed right next to the ping pong table. So I'm going to stay here and, just, and see to it so they will not talk to each other tonight. Morning, Brooke. Mm. Oh my God, they're very complaining. We're going to swim, we prepare. It's 6 a.m. Okay. and Peter's daily regime for the kids Good. kicks into gear. He's given them just 10 minutes to get ready for swimming training. Wait, but how are you going to have it? Because hey, get that boom above there. But it looks like Brooke has other plans. Oh, Carl? But have Brooke and Mark underestimated their opponent. Why didn't you go in there? Get rid of the same 50 miles. Are you ready now? I'm getting my flight now. Good. I'm actually getting dressed, so do you want to help out, Mark? Do you want to help out? Dad Peter walks in just seconds after the smoke is out. Um, Close the door so I can get dressed, please. Thank you. Huh? He brings the socks from away. With a victory under their belt, our teens are bustled off to the local swimming pool. Mark and Brooke are expected to take part in the family weekly training session. But Brooke has other things on her mind. Nicholas is lovely, lovely. Capital L, exclamation points all the way. He's hot. <laughs> It's 21 degrees in the air, but it's 27 degrees in the water. I'm not swimming. I'll, I'll go in when I'm ready. Mark. I'll be in when I'm Mark. ready. Peter, Mark. Peter, Peter, see how annoying that is. I was very determined to get the teens into the water. No. We, have <laughs> we have limited time. If they had refused to, to jump into the water, I would have thrown in Mark. It's six in the morning, man. I'm so freaking tired. I don't like being yelled at. Brooke didn't participate in what we had agreed about. I said get in the water. I got in the water. How am I breaking my agreement anyway, Try. As Brooke heads for the showers, Mark can't resist going head to head with Peter. I think Mark he did a splendid job. He has it in him, so I'm very happy about that. Could Mark be starting to thaw out? Mark is really coming through now. He thinks these things are fun to do. I think it's just great.